Once you've arrived, take a nice full inhale. And as you exhale, allow yourself to arrive into the space, onto your mat, into your body. Connect with your surroundings. Acknowledge the sounds, the smells, the temperature of the air. So allow yourself to drop more and more into the present moment. On your next inhale, draw those shoulders up to your ears. And as you exhale, draw those shoulders down and back. Arrive into your physical body. Scan from head to toe, shoulders to fingers, acknowledging how you're feeling today inside that body. Notice any areas of tension, any tightness, any injuries. Remember, this is a practice, so we're moving through practicing different things. It does not matter what it looks like. Go with how it feels. How is your body feeling today? Modify as needed. Go deeper when it feels appropriate. But most importantly, feeling good or even better than you do now at the end of practice. One more time, take a full inhale, draw those shoulders up to your ears, feel that tension. And then as you exhale, side out the mouth, draw those shoulders down and back. Feel that tension release. And then go deeper. Go inside the body, maybe start feeling heartbeat, feeling your breath. And then continue to notice a little bit deeper where your thoughts are, what emotions are bubbling up. Give all of that some validity. Give all of that some loving kindness. And see if you can create some space, create some balance between the continuous thinking and the just sitting here with your breath. Start to let things go that are not serving you in a positive way right now for your body, for your mind. And start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Maybe go into that three-part breathing to begin, inhaling into the belly, to the ribs, to the chest, and then exhaling chest, ribs, belly. Just nice, deep breaths, creating that balance, that nice, smooth, equal parts breath. Reminding yourself to not only breathe on the front side, sending that front side out, breathing into the sideways, expanding them out toward the arms, and maybe the back side to the space behind you. Just kind of notice what space that creates, not only physically, but also that mental side. A few more deeper rounds of breath, maybe allowing the intention to settle in, creating balance, a balance between ease and efforts, balance between thinking too much and not thinking at all, maybe just balance of breath. Allow that intention to bubble up. We'll set that intention either with another side of the breath or a sound of OM. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly for this. Exhale fully there. Inhale into those hands. Allow those hands to release. Bring yourself forward onto your hands and knees. Bring that block with you. And you're gonna take your block, you're gonna place it between your heels and it can be on the lowest height, it can be on the mid height or even the highest height. 
I usually like that mid height. Place it between your heels and then sit your hips back onto that block. So your hips are sitting back. You may not be all the way on it, but it's a little bit of an extra support here. And then take those arms to where they feel comfortable, whether it's straight out, maybe it's bent out to the side, and bring your forehead either to the floor or to the other block. So get that forehead right on the ground. And then find your breath. And then as you inhale, just gently little rock and roll the head from side to side. So not big turns, but just a little bit, just massaging that forehead. Dropping into our intuition. So allowing yourself to notice what's happening in the body as you continue to breathe. So find that nice deep breathing. If you're using Ujjayi breath, that nice little sound breath, that narrowing of the back of the throat. Start to begin that now. So you kind of hear that on the inhales and the exhales. Take one more breath here. Exhale fully. Press down into those hands as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, walk your hands back so that you're sitting up on that block. Adjust your knees as you need to to find some comfort. And make sure you can kind of sit up on that block nice and tall. And then on your inhale, take those arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands down behind the back, interlink the fingers. Knuckles to back as you inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chin. And as you exhale, release the hands, chin to chest. Inhale, takes the arms up. We're going to do that again. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlink the fingers. Knuckles to back. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest as you release the grip. One more time. Inhale, takes those arms up. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlink the fingers. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Lift that chin. Exhale, chin to chest as you release. Inhale, take the arms up. And as you exhale, rotate. Bend those elbows, rotate to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, rotate to the left. Two more times each side. Find length in the spine. And then exhale, rotate. Using that core. As you press down into the floor with your shins, continue to rotate one more time to the right. This time, once you get to the right, pause there. You're gonna take that left hand to the right thigh, take that right arm, reach it back behind you. You're gonna take another inhale, open a little bit more. Exhale. Inhale, take the arms up. And exhale, bend the elbows to the left. That right hand to the left thigh. And then inhale, reach that left arm back. Good, exhale. Take another inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. And then as you exhale, bring those hands forward. Come onto your hands and knees. Take that block and you're gonna place it between your thighs and squeeze it. So we're gonna engage into those inner thighs a little bit. Press into the hands. Tuck your toes and then hover the knees. Squeeze into that block. Good. Nice long spine. Breathing and squeezing. Good. We're going to add a little bit of movement. Ground the knees. On your inhale, find cow pose. Exhale, find cow. Inhale, find cow. And exhale, cow. Inhale, find cow, hover the feet or hover the knees. Exhale, keep them hovered around the spine. So just a little bit here. Inhale, lengthen a little bit of balance, a little bit of core. Exhale, round. Good, one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Good, and on your inhale, lift those hips, find a little downward dog, right? So your feet might be a little bit more narrow, but keep squeezing the block. Bend your knees. Imagine you want to send that block back behind you. Press your thighs back, but knees stay bent. Hips lift. Find length in the spine. Length in the side waist. Find your breath. Take another inhale. Exhale. 
And as you inhale, come forward to plank. Adjust your hands as needed. You don't want to adjust to the feet because you might lose the block. Good, find that plank. And imagine you're going to pop that block up back behind you. So those inner thighs go up toward the sky. Tailbone toward the block. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, down the dog. Inhale, plank. Keep squeezing that block. Exhale, down the dog. One more time, inhale, plank. Exhale, down the dog. Good, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, lower the knees. And then lower the chest all the way to the floor. So that block's going to hit the ground. Grab that block from between the thighs. And then grab the block behind you the long way. And imagine you're going to pull it apart. Ground the toes, lift the chest. Good. Take an inhale here. And an exhale. Good. One more big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release that block. Exhale, press it back downward facing up. Good, nice full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, put a little bend into those knees. Exhale, walk those hands back toward your feet. Good, press down into the floor as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. As you fold, bend those knees, rock a little bit from side to side. Exhale, fully. Press down into those feet as you inhale, slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time, let that head be the last thing to rise. Shoulders draw back, hands by your side, exhale there. And then as you inhale, you're going to slowly shift your weight to your right foot, lift your left knee. And then exhale, step it forward. As you inhale, right knee up nice and slow, as high as you can. And exhale down. One more time with the left, inhale, lift. Exhale, step it forward. Last time with the right, inhale, lift high as you can. And exhale, step it down. Good, ground down into those feet. Find your comfort here. A little bit of half sun salutations, a little bit of play with balance. Inhale, take those arms up. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, refold. As you inhale, bring the arms up. Keep the arms up as you exhale. Take your left foot behind your right foot and lean a little bit to the right. Good. As you inhale, take those arms back up, left foot grounds. And then as you exhale, right foot behind the left, lean to the left. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Feel the wobble. And exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, refold. Press into the legs. Inhale, brings you up. Good. As you exhale, take that left foot over behind the right. Take an inhale, lean. Exhale, back to center. Good. As you inhale, bring that right foot behind the left. Exhale there. Inhale, back to center. Feel the wobble. And exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good, pulse into those legs. Inhale, brings you all the way up last time here. As you exhale, lean that left foot behind the right. Inhale, lean more to the right. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, right foot behind left. Exhale, lean to the left. Good, inhale, back to center. Exhale, ground those feet. Big inhale, reach those arms. Exhale, hands behind the back and remove the fingers. Bend those knees. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. And then exhale, belly to thigh. Keep those knees bent. Take the arms straight back behind you. Lengthen the neck. And then continue to bring your chest to your thighs. Reach those arms to the sky. Good, big inhale. Exhale, fold. 
exhale at the head dangle. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hands release to the floor. Exhale, straighten those legs, long spine, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Grab that clock as you inhale, reach those arms up. And then as you exhale, take that block, slide it between the thighs again. Good. Press into that block. Squeeze those thighs in. Spin those thighs back. Tailbone slightly like this. Good. Press into the feet. Inhale. Takes the arms up. Exhale. Hands behind the back and around the fingers. Keep squeezing that block as you bend your knees. Inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Keep squeezing the knees. Good. Opening up the chest. Keep everything just as it is. Sweep those arms up by your ears. Chair pose. Good. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Good. Press into those legs. Inhale. Stay. Exhale. Forward fold. Keep squeezing that block. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Fold. Press down. Inhale. Reaches those arms up. And exhale, hands release. Release that block. Place it down. Have both blocks handy. Adding in a little bit more movement. Exhale here. Remind yourself of that intention around balance. Find that balance of breath, balance of body, balance of mind. And then as you inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold, plant the hand, step that left foot back, left knee down. Good, and just from here, just kind of warm it up. As you inhale, pull the heart forward. You might need your blocks today. Exhale, press it back. So just bending and straightening into that front knee. Nice and easy. Take two more rounds of breath. Once you get to that bent knee position again, press down into that front foot. As you inhale, sweep those arms up. Good, exhale. As you inhale, bend the elbows, rotate toward the right. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach through those arms. Exhale. And if it feels good in your body, take that right hand to your hips, to your low back. And take that left arm, reach it up to the side, lean it back, find a little balance here. Good, take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to rotating, expand the arms. And then exhale, left hand down to block or floor. Whatever's going to feel best to you, right arm reaches. Take that back leg, straighten it. Good, take an inhale here. Exhale. Good, another inhale. And then as you exhale, drop that back knee again. Prop yourself up on a block if you haven't already. And then you're going to take that right leg, swing it back behind you, and find that little half moon pose, that supported side plank. Right leg is lifted. Breathe. And then bend that right knee. Place that right foot behind you, kind of close to that left foot, and then open the chest. Press the hips forward, reach the arm back. Good, take a big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten that right leg again, you lift it up. As you exhale, ground the right foot, take that right arm up and overhead. Bring that big side stretch on the right side. Inhale, right arm's gonna reach. As you exhale, right knee toward chest. Pivot and step that right foot forward. Good. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Hands to floor. Inhale, straighten the back leg. So step it back, downward facing dog. Good. As you inhale, come forward plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes. Inhale, find that locust pose, lift toes, lift arms. Exhale, hands by your side, ground the toes. Inhale, find a little baby cobra, pull those elbows back. Exhale. And then press to the hands, press back, knees this time. Hips to heels, toes are tucked. 
We're going to take an inhale here, find length in the spine. And then exhale, straighten those legs, find downward facing dog. Big inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, right leg's going to lift. Exhale, heels to bone, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step it forward. Inhale, lean forward into those hands, into the block, lift your back leg. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, take that left hip, roll it toward your right foot. Really feel that hamstring. And then maybe put the moment of balance. Hover the hands, hands to heart. Warrior three. Take an inhale. As you exhale, hands to floor, left foot meets right foot. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Press into those legs. Inhale brings you all the way up. And as you exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, right knee down. And again, bend and straighten into that front leg. Just warming up here, using your breath. Find that balance of ease and effort. Right, going to that point where you feel some good sensation. Feeling that sensation where you need it now. Then exhale, come to that bent knee position. Press into that back leg. Inhale, sweeps those arms up. Good, exhale here. Good, as you inhale, bend the elbows, rotate toward that left thigh. Good, exhale, reach through those arms. Good, either stay here, or take that right, left hand to your low back. Take that right arm, reach up, and lean back, find a little balance. Good, take an inhale, keep rotating. Exhale. Inhale, come back to rotation with those arms wide. And as you exhale, that right hand down to block or floor. Good, keep reaching that left arm up, straighten the back leg, and open up that twist. Good, big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, back knee comes down. As you exhale, prop yourself up on that block with a hand. Hand and block. And then pivot yourself, taking that left leg all the way back. Adjust yourself so you're in that little side leg variation. Lift that left leg big and high. Then open it up. Big inhale. As you exhale, bend the top knee. Step that foot back by your other foot. And then press your hips forward as you open your chest. A little bit of a heart. Good. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Lift that left leg. And then as you exhale, press the left foot into the floor. Good. Press down. Take that top arm, reach it overhead. Lift those left ribs up to the sky. Reach those fingers to the top of your mat. Good. Then inhale, take that top arm up. Exhale, bend the left knee into your chest as you pivot and step that foot forward. Good. Nice big breath here. Straighten that back leg. Take an in. Sorry, don't straighten the back leg. Stay here. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hands. Now straighten the back leg. Step it up, down, and up. Good. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale comes forward. Exhale, lower knees or toes. Inhale, finds locust pose, maybe interlink the fingers and reach those hands to toes. As you exhale, ground the hands, press the toes down. Inhale, little baby cobra, feel it in that upper back. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, press it back. Hips to heels, child's pose, or straight to downward dog. Take a full breath there. Exhale. If you're in child's pose, find your way to downward dog. And exhale. Inhale, left leg reaches to the sky. Exhale, heels bump, open it up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw knee to nose, step it forward. Inhale, lean into that left leg. Hands to blocks and stand into that left leg. 
Good, take that right hip, roll it towards your left foot. Good, standing splits, or maybe press so hard you lift your chest, warrior three, swing the little bar. Good, big inhale here. Hold to exhale. Inhale, hands to floor as foot meets right, foot meets left foot. Exhale there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press down into those feet as you inhale, swing the arms up. And exhale, hands release. Ah, take a moment there. Notice how the body's feeling, the heat, the energy, the balance. Adding in. Exhale here. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, sit into chair. So sit those hips back, hands stay at heart center. Pause here for a moment. Good, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest to hands. Good, and then stand to that right leg. You're gonna lift your left knee to your chest. Inhale, lift that left knee. Good, exhale there. Inhale, maybe take the arms up. Exhale there. Good, you're gonna slowly take that left foot and step it back into a high lunge. Inhale, stepping it back. Exhale there. Make sure you have a nice base so you have your balance. Good. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, swing those arms back. Imagine you have a block behind your hands. Actually, grab that block since we have it. Grab it. Walk between the hands, but you're going to press the block together. Press it. Instead of pulling it apart, press it. Lean forward. Breathe. Then take another inhale. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, release that block. Exhale, place that block under your back knee. Drop your back knee to the block. Good. Make sure you have a little bit of balance. You have your other block there in case you need it. And then inhale, sweep those arms up. Good. Exhale here. Good. Take another breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring those hands down inside the front leg. Walk that right foot out to the side, maybe wiggle it forward, and then lean the hips forward and bend your back knee. The toes are going to point to the sky. Good, so you're really using that hamstring there. Good, and then if you want to go for a little bit of balance, press into that right foot, press into the left knee, start to lift the chest. Breathe. A lot of work in that back leg. One more big inhale. As you exhale, hands down. Good. Inhale, ground the back toes. Exhale, straighten the back leg. Step that back foot a little bit in so both legs can go straight. So pyramid pose. And your hips are probably going to be open to the left. Maybe use those blocks and start to bring that left hip toward the top of your mat. Press in with those legs. Nice long spine here. Getting into that front leg. Maybe you can start to get more into that right outer hip by pulling that right outer hip back a little bit more. Big exhale here. Good. You're going to bring the block with you again. Bend into that front knee. And then inhale, sweep those arms up. So now you're going to warrior one. So your back hip slightly turned in. You're reaching up with that block. Press the block between your hands again. And then start to bend those elbows back behind your head. Squeeze the elbows up again as you press in with the block. Good. Continue to rotate your chest toward that front knee. Good. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Sweeps that arm up. As you exhale, bring the hand back behind you. Grip the block. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. Lean in toward that right leg. Maybe halfway step the back leg forward. And then as you reach the arms back, reach the leg back. A little warrior three. Then take a full breath here. Exhale. Then as you inhale, start to release that. Bring both hands down to the floor of blocks. And then exhale, left foot down. The inhale, long spine, center your feet. And exhale, fold. Inhale, takes you all the way up. Ah. 
Exhale, refold. Then on your next inhale, lengthen. Exhale, find that chair pose. Since you have chair pose, breathe into it. Good, pressing into that left foot. Inhale, stands you up, bring that right knee as high as you can. Exhale. Inhale, is gonna sweep those arms up. Stay to exhale. And then slowly taking that right leg, sweep it back, high lunge. Good, find your high lunge, take an inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, grab one of those blocks. Exhale, bring it back behind you again. Good, squeeze the block instead of pulling it apart, squeeze it and lean forward. Good, squeeze, 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 using those triceps. Heart forward. Breathe. Good, another big inhale. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, release that block underneath the right knee. Hands to the floor, drop that right knee to the block. And then on your inhale, sweep those arms up. And that nice little stretch, press into the block, reach up through those arms. And then on your exhale, hands come inside that left foot. Walk that left foot out to the left, maybe a little forward. Good, hips slightly forward. And then start to bend the back knee. Good, feeling that hamstring turn on. A little strength there. So balance between strength and stretch. And then you can stay here or press into that front foot, start to lift your chest, start to lift your arms. Breathe into it. Feeling that right leg work. Good, one more breath here. And then as you exhale, hands come down to the floor. Bring that back toe to the ground. As you inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, step that back foot slightly in and ground the heel so both feet can be, so both legs can be straight. Using those blocks. And that right hip's gonna wanna stay back. Start to draw that right hip toward the left foot. As you draw that right hip to the left foot, can you send your left hip back? Find length in the spine. And then press into both legs. Two more breaths here. Exhale fully. As you inhale, bend into that front knee. Exhale, press yourself up, bring a block with you. So you have that warrior one stance. <clears throat> and then you can stay with the wider width or maybe you go to the thinner width. Press into the block, inhale, sweep those arms up. Good, then as you exhale, bend those elbows, block to your upper back, squeeze elbows up and in. Good, keep rotating the chest toward that front knee and then press into the feet, feeling the whole body here. Good, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, takes those arms up. Exhale, bring that block back behind you again. This time you're gonna pull it apart, so open the chest. Lean forward over that front leg. Tap that back foot in to find balance. And then as you reach the arms back, lift that leg up any little bit. Little warrior three. Kind of like a dancing warrior. Good, with a big inhale. As you exhale, release the block. Hands come to block. And then step that right foot down. Equalize your feet on your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Take an extra breath here. Side out the mouth. Let that heat go. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Press into those legs. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Then exhale, hands to heart. Come back to that balanced breath. Notice the wobbles. Let go of what did or did not happen. We add on. Inhale, takes those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. As you exhale, plant the hand, step that left foot back. You're gonna take the left heel to the floor for warrior two, but then you're gonna take a block, bring that block to the inside of the right leg and rotate the chest for side angle. So you're staying low. 
And then take that top arm up to the sky. If you want a little shoulder stretch, bring that hand behind you and rotate that top shoulder back. If you need more of a side stretch, top arm comes over top ear, find length from wrist to hip. Two more breaths here. Big inhale. Exhale. Press down into that bottom hand. As you inhale, bring yourself up warrior two. Undo any binds. Exhale, warrior two. Good, take an inhale. And exhale. Just find the strength and the sturdiness of warrior two. On your inhale, reverse that warrior. Open it up. Good, exhale there. Good, inhale, come back, warrior two. And then as you exhale, straighten that back leg, straighten the front leg. Take that back hip and back foot, slightly roll it in. And then lengthen yourself over that front foot. So your left hip's back. Take your right hand down to the block. Press into the block. And then start to roll that left hip open. And then start to roll the chest open. And take the tar our top arm up for triangle pose. Pressing into the feet. Pressing into the arms. Opening the chest. Big inhale here. Exhale. We're going to come into a balance of half moon. Top hand to top hip. Bend into that front knee. Lean it forward. Round down into that right hand with the block. And lift the left leg. Good. Press down. And again, roll the top hip up. Roll the chest open. Top arm maybe reaches. Then take a big inhale. Exhale. Good. As you inhale, start to rotate that top hip down. Left hand finds that other block. Come into that standing split. Let open for this round. And let yourself kind of come in with that left hip open. Lift the leg as high as you can. And now we're going to start to let, equal it out. So lengthen the chest. Pull that left hip toward your right toes. Good. So that leg might not lift so high, but it's all about intention. And then pull the heart forward. Think locust pose. Hands to heart or hands reach back. Good. Take another breath. Embrace the wobble. Exhale. Hands down, foot down. Ooh. Good. Inhale. Equalize your feet. Lengthen. And as you exhale, fold. Press into those legs. Inhale brings you all the way up. Oh. Exhale brings you all the way down. Last little bit of effort here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Good. On your inhale, step that right foot back. Bring that right heel to the ground. I'm just going to swap around here. Good. And then staying low, bring that block to the inside of the left leg. And then hand to hip. So side angle pose to begin. And take that top arm up to the sky. And then your choice, right hand can come behind you for a little shoulder stretch. Or maybe you bring it overhead for that side stretch. Let's stay here another two breaths. Enjoying that part of being on the ground, finding that stability, that groundingness. Good. On your next inhale, press yourself up to warrior two. Find your strength in warrior two. So we have those moments of wobble, those moments of being in, out of balance. And now we're in balance, we're strong, we're steady. Reverse that warrior, find some length. And sometimes this can bring a little bit of wobble. So find your gaze, find that point of intention. Exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Good, as you exhale, straighten that left leg. Adjust the back leg so that that front hip can roll in, maybe even turn your foot in slightly. And then kind of like that forward fold over the front leg. Good, ground the hand down into the block and then lift the chest. Roll the right hip back till it stops. Roll the chest back until it stops. And then take that top arm up to the sky for triangle. Good. Pressing down to lift up. Breathe. Embrace the wobbles. Good. One more big breath here. 
As you exhale, look down, top hand to top hip. Bend into your bottom knee on your inhale. Lean it forward, press into that left hand. As you exhale, lift the right leg. Good. So again, roll the right hip up till it stops. Roll the left, the chest up till it stops, and then take that right arm up. Lift right arm, lift right, left leg, like right leg. I'm a puzzle today. <laughs> Big inhale. And then as you exhale, circle that right hand down. Right leg's gonna stay lifted. Find a little bit of forward fold over that leg. Like lift the back leg as high as you can. Let that hip open. And now find some length. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate that right hip toward your left toes. You're gonna definitely feel your left leg more. Keep engaging the right leg. Lift the chest length and find that locust pose. Reach those arms back. Good, big inhale. Stay to exhale. Good, inhale, hands down. Exhale, foot down. Center yourself on your inhale. And then exhale, fold. Press into those legs. Inhale brings you all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, find that balance of breath. Find that steadiness on your feet. And we make our way toward the floor. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Take a moment in downward dog, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, lower knees or toes all the way down. Good, inhale, find locust. Exhale, plant the hands, ground the toes. Inhale, find that little baby cobra. Exhale down. Tuck the toes, press back knees, make those knees a little bit wider. Sit back on your hips, child's pose. Five deep breaths here. Another two breaths. One more big inhale. And exhale. And inhale, come forward to hands to feet. As you exhale, bring those elbows to the floor. Take that block and you're gonna press it between the, the longest way and the lowest way between your hands like you're karate chopping down and squeezing. Good, so shoulders are over those elbows. Press in, press away from the floor. Like something's repelling you from the floor, but you're squeezing in, you're gonna feel those shoulders activate. Good, tuck your toes and lift your hips, but keep your knees bent. Good, so knees are bent, hips are lifted, just a little shoulder strengthener. Breathe, relax the head, give a little nod, yes. A little shake, no. Good, one more breath here. Exhale. Good, inhale, bring the knees to the floor. Good, as you exhale, hips to heels, relax those arms. Good, one more time, we're gonna add a little bit of balance into it. Bring yourself forward, press down, squeeze in, press away from the floor. Good, tuck your toes, lift your hips, knees stay bent. And this is where the balance comes. Press down, lift those hips, bring your right heel to your bone. Maybe right leg extends to sky, but keep bending into that left knee. Good, and then start to bring your knee to your chest again. Right foot to floor. Second side, inhale, left heel to bone. Maybe you stay here or exhale, send that leg to the sky, but keep bending into the right knee. Big inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, foot to floor. Take another inhale here, lift those hips high. And then exhale, knees down, hips to heels. Relax those arms, turn those palms up. Big inhale. Exhale. 
Then press into the hands, inhale, shift your weight forward, hands and knees. Take that block either on the highest height or the mid height, place it behind you again. But then you're gonna sit on it and walk your feet forward. So bring those feet forward so you're sitting on that block. Okay. And then take the feet wide so you feel some sensation in your hips. Press those elbows into the knees and then lift the chest. Send your hips back, heart forward, press into the knees while you press your knees into your arms. Good, two more breaths here. Feeling the stability here. We're gonna go forward into a little balancing. Walk those feet back a little bit, lean forward, bring the hands toward the floor. Right, so your arms are going to be inside your knees. You're going to squeeze in, press out, right? And then you're just going to lean forward and maybe lift a foot and then come back to that block. And then the next time, inhale, lean forward, lift the other foot. So everything, your elbows squeeze out, your knees squeeze in, maybe you lean forward, toes lift. So just find that balance on your hands, no wood's too far. What's in the store? Take two more rounds with your breath. Just playing a little bit on our hands. Maybe you hold for a breath. And then bring it back. Good. Pause there. Bring those feet a little bit and more in front of you. Take the arms to the sky. Good. So press into the feet. Squeeze those knees. Use those hip flexors. And bring those hands behind you. Interlink the fingers, roll the shoulders back, lengthen those hands toward the floor. Big inhale, keep pressing with those legs. Exhale. Good, inhale, release. And then as you exhale, slowly start to remove the block, come down to your booty, hold onto the block, find boat pose. So your boat pose here. So hips are down, maybe heels are down, blocks in front. Maybe knees lift to the block. Maybe you don't want that block, get rid of it. Maybe you squeeze the block underneath you, right? Breathe. If you have the block in front of you, can you lift it above you? Good, embrace the wobble, right? It's boat pose. We wobble. Good, take another breath. I'm wobbling too. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, cross that right shin in front of the left shin. Sit up tall, big inhale, reach that block up, and then exhale, reach that. Pressing the top of the block, pull the heart forward, press into the feet. So get into those hips. We're gonna add on to this a little bit. So we're gonna get into pigeon pose. If pigeon pose doesn't feel good in your body, you have recline figure four, you have 90-90. Exhale fully here. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands back. Lean toward that right side. Lift your left knee. That left knee is going to go toward the left. 90-90. If you want to go into pigeon, lean into the hands. Cup the back toes. Square the hips. And then lengthen forward into pigeon. So right knee is rotating out. Left hips rotating forward. The block is there for you to rest your head. Breathe into those hips there. Giving that hip flexor a nice little stretch. Two more breaths here. Equaling out that breath, slowing it down. Exhale fully here. As you inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, roll to your right elbow. Bend that left knee and then reach back, grabbing onto the foot. Lean it back. Good. Some of you might be able to roll more forward, press into that right hand, so then you have a grip onto that arm or to that foot. So a little bit deeper. 
Good, slowly roll back down to that right side. Take that left knee, draw it all the way up to your chest, sit up, and then take that left foot over your right knee. So we're going into that little twist. All right, so you're gonna hug that left knee in, lift the chest, and take that left arm back behind you for a moment. Use the core to rotate, and then bring that left hand behind you. Now take that left hip, roll it down, press the right knee down, lift the chest. And if it's okay for your neck, go ahead and look behind you or look forward. Another big inhale here. Exhale. And inhale, come to center. Exhale, lift those knees, hug it in, use the block if you want to, and then find your boat pose again. So we're in boat pose again. Whatever your boat pose looks like, embrace the wobble. Good, big inhale. And then this time, bring that left shin in front of your right shin. Take a big inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, reach those arms forward to press down into that block again. So hands press down, heart pulls forward, legs press down. So again, getting into those hips. Slowing the breath down. Finding that balance between ease and effort. Stira Sukham in Sanskrit, that ease with the effort. Feeling the feels in the whole body. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, walk the hands back to the shins. Start to lean toward that left side and lift the right knee. Slide that right knee to the side. So you might stay here, 90-90, fold over that front leg, or wiggle that left leg, that right leg back and find your pigeon. So you have different options depending on what your body needs. Again, listening to it, maybe this side needs a little less than the other side. Every day is different. It's a practice. Dropping in here. Feeling the sensations of the body, feeling the breath assist you into the pose. Keeping with that intention, finding balance. Exhale fully here. As you inhale, start to lift and lengthen. Lean over onto that left side, start to bend the right knee, grabbing onto that quad, find a little quad stretch. Some of you might be able to hold onto it, roll back up onto that left side, so a little bit deeper, or just stay down though. Whatever feels best to you today. Exhale fully here. Slowly release that, come back to the left side. And then taking that right knee, draw it up to your chest as you sit up. Bring it over that left knee for your twist. Sit up nice and tall, hug the knee in. Drop that right hip and then take the right arm, reach it back. So find that little resistance from front leg, front arm. And then exhale, take that back hand, press it into the floor. Lift the chest. Press the legs down, and then your gaze can go where it's comfortable. Nice, easy breaths. One more big inhale here. And exhale. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, unwind those legs, find your boat pose. One last time, we're gonna come all the way down to the ground. Good, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Good, find that balance. Good, big inhale. We're gonna slowly make our way to the floor. Exhale, lower a little. Knees can stay bent, even feet can come to the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower another little bit. 
Good, take an inhale. Exhale, lower another little bit. Shoulder blades are hovering. Take another big inhale. And as you exhale, all the way down. Good, extend those legs, extend those arms. Let everything release. A lot of work to get to the floor. We're now on the floor. Ah, let it go. I'm just going to scan through the body here. Notice what your body needs here. Does it need a windshield wiper? Does it need a happy baby? Does it need maybe a leg in the air, stretching the hamstrings? What does your body need? Not just what your brain think it needs, but what does your body actually need? Maybe your hip flexors are tight, you need windshield wipers. Maybe your low back's a little still tight, happy baby. Maybe your hamstrings feel like they need another stretch. Hands a big toe. So take some time right now and do what feels good to you. Maybe you feel like you need another twist. That one twist didn't get deep enough. You need to go a little deeper. But take some time. No rush. Use your breath. And hold whatever pose you're going to do for at least four or five breaths on each side. Allow this to be your way of ending your practice before Shavasana. And if you feel complete, start to head into Shavasana a little early. Prop yourself up, cover yourself up. Allow yourself to take comfort. As you start to make your way into that position of rest and restore, Take that balance intention and apply it here. You've worked hard, you've moved hard. You found balance in breath, balance in body. Now find that balance in restoring. Sometimes that's the hardest part. We fidget, we move, we can't quite let go. Our mind wants to go forward before we've actually settled into the present. Allow that time here. Start to settle in as thoughts come in. If they're distracting, give them loving kindness, send them away as much as needed. Maybe take some deep cleansing breaths to settle into the physical body. Honor the time that you made to find balance in your life <clears throat> between go, go, go and doing something for yourself here on your mat and now honoring that time of stillness. Allow your body to completely surrender. I'll bring you out with the sound of my voice. Take rest.
Allowing your next breaths to come in a little bit deeper. Notice if you need to stay here and rest and restore. Please do. Ignore me. Enjoy. If you're ready to come out, start to bring some movements into the fingers and the toes. Moving that up into the wrists, the ankles, the arms, the legs. Maybe giving yourself a long stretch, reaching those arms back behind your head, slide your feet together. And then bending the knees, either hug the knees into the chest, windshield wipers, another happy baby, whatever feels best to you. And when you're ready, mindfully make your way over to one side, pause there. Pause there to honor the body, honor the practice, and drop back into that intention, the intention of balance, and acknowledge those little subtle shifts and changes mentally, physically, toward that intention of balance. You feel better than before. You feel more equal in your breathing and in your body. Just acknowledge. And then mindfully press yourself up when you're ready, all the way up to seated. And as you do, find that nice long spine. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Arrive into the space, onto your mat, into your body. Drop into that present sensation. Holding on to that intention and seeing how you can take that intention of balance and this practice, all that ease, all that effort, and take it with you off your mat into your day ahead, into your week ahead, finding that balance of ease and effort, of work and play, of work and relaxation. We'll seal the practice in with that sound of OM or a sigh of the breath, take a full inhale. Taking a moment, think of one thing in your life you truly are grateful for. Hold on to that image in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, wear sunblock.